Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do the reading for Aries. So thank you very much for subscribing to my channel, Aries. If you're new on board, welcome. And if you're a cross watcher, you're welcome too. I know people do it because we all do. <laughs> I think that's quite okay. Um, if the readings don't resonate with you, you know how to check up other aspects of your natal chart. So you can check out your moon, your rising and your ascendant. And you can do that by going to Cafe Astrology. Oh, the moon came out. Interesting. And looking up your natal chart. We are using the Tarot of Dreams by Chiro Marchetti. And the card we have out here first is the star. So this is your general energy for the week. The star is a beautiful card because it talks of having hope and faith and trust that the universe is doing what it needs to do. And it is going about healing you and bringing in your wishes. Now behind that you have the hanging man, which two might major arcanas, and behind that is the devil card. Very interesting. Three major arcanas here. So what this talks about is you taking time out to get on your pathway and you're coping with this devil energy. So it could be that you're recovering or healing from codependency, excess of some kind, obsessive behaviour, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is that you've had, that maybe you've had an obsession in. You could have been dealing with someone with that devil energy. So sometimes that can represent the ego. It can represent very sort of narcissistic people. But you're definitely coming through and healing here, Aries. Okay, so the first card you've got is the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Coins. Now this is an Earth sign, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Now this Earth sign is very practical, very down to earth, very earthly. It could be quite nurturing. Um very organized, probably a leader in their field and probably a little focused on their money. And the world's here. Now the world talks about closing out a cycle unless you're going around the world with an earth sign. Um, this is about closing out a cycle, finishing something up. We have the three of swords. So some of you could be heartbroken over some sort of relationship now you might not have been heartbroken per se they may not have broken your heart but perhaps you've had a pretty hard time in a relationship with someone who's been quite narcissistic and then we have the emperor so this is your energy aries now the emperor as a card represents someone who is the culmination of all four kings he's the person or she's a person who is at the top of their game they're a leader in their own field. They are knowledgeable. They are experienced. And they're very much in charge of their own kingdom. They can be a little bit controlling. So as an emperor, you may be a little bit too controlling. But that's because you've been used to running your own domain here. Okay, so you have a nine of pentacles here. This is someone who's single and independent. It's funny because she looks like Sandra Bullock in that card. This is someone who, who is very comfortable on their own. They don't need anybody else. They're quite comfortable to be where they are. It could be this earth sign that you're dealing with here, but this person is very independent, very self-sufficient, very confident and self-assured. We do have the death card here. So this death card talks about transformation, some sort of transformation, some sort of change here that you're going through. You're letting something die here. Um, we'll get a little bit more energy. Eight of Cups. So you're walking away from something. You must be walking away from that relationship I saw at the beginning there. It's something that's not emotionally satisfying. Okay, that's interesting. You have the King of Coins here as well. Now, generally in a reading when we see both the King and Queen, it talks of having a soulmate. 
and this queen of coins came up straight away. So for me, this is about a soulmate relationship. But I feel like you're moving away from some other relationship here and into a soulmate relationship. But we'll get more information. Oh, and there's a tower here. Okay. So breakdown of structures, breaking down things as you know it, a change in your circumstances, change in your thinking, end of end of um, socialised thinking, end of cultural norms, trying something new, moving into a different direction after some sort of breaking down of something that you believed in. Interesting. Very nice though. You've got the sun at the end here. And the sun always talks of joy and happiness and things going in your favour here. So you're being guided here. The universe is guiding you towards something. I feel like you've had a period of time. You look like you've come out of something that was quite... Um, I don't know whether this is your mental conflict or whether you're coming out of a time of a lot of conflict. But you're walking away from something here that may have been extremely toxic. Um, and you've taken time out to heal and you're heading out on the right path now. I feel like from this toxicity, though, it's sort of pushed you on a path where you've closed out a cycle now. And you look like even though you're sort of fairly broken from what's happened in the past, you look like you're tracking into another direction you've done some transformation now and you've come out as this emperor energy which is really nice you're heading towards someone though that is actually single and independent and you're walking away from something that no longer serves you now this person you're going towards you believe strongly that they're your soulmate so you're moving towards them here but there's some sort of breaking down of not just of um you're letting some part of you die, something that you didn't, you don't think serves you anymore. Because you're moving towards someone that you believe now is your soulmate. Um, moving away from like a time of no emotional fulfillment and walking towards something that you think is what you're destined to do. And with this star card here, I would say that you're, you are moving in the right direction here. But you're still a little bit broken. There's still some healing to be done. You're having trouble here sort of letting go of something that needs to sort of die off about yourself. This is why the tower is being brought in here. Now, don't forget the energies can flip-flop. So it could be somebody you're dealing with here. But you're having trouble letting go of something that needs to die off. So maybe you're hanging on to this past relationship, even though you're moving forward. You're hanging on to perhaps memories. Um, there's a strong feeling here, though, that this is breaking down some sort of cultural norm. So it could be a belief of um, leaving something behind here. And it's sometimes when we're walking away from something that's abusive or controlling or not right for us we still have this inner calling to do everything we can before we walk away so even when someone's being cruel or unkind um, it's like you know you have this commitment with this person so you need to still keep doing the right thing by them but it sort of feels to me here that you're having trouble letting go of this old belief that you're hanging on to, even though you're in quite a cruel, cold relationship here. So you're moving towards something that is right for you, Aries. You're definitely moving in the right direction. You're being guided towards something, but because you're having trouble letting something go, the universe is going to step in here with this tower and remove from your life that which you can't remove for yourself. Very interesting reading, really. But anyway, okay, so you have the Guardian of Abundance coming out here. And it says, this is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job, job opportunities arise in the near future. Make sure to accept them 
This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. So it sounds like you're um, quite determined to make sure that you keep going on your path. But yet yeah, you're having trouble letting go of something and it's quite possibly this belief that you have to keep going. Stay in something perhaps that's quite toxic for you. But the universe is going to bring that up because you've got the sun out here, which always means there's a good outcome regardless. Thank you, Aries.